Sony used this week's IFA Consumer Electronics Show as the launch pad for two new Android tablets. The honeycomb-based single and dual-screen tablets, called the Tablet S and Tablet P, range in price from 480 to 600 euro. Sony Tablet expands our digital lives with outstanding portability, performance, and of course processing power. These Android-equipped devices bring hardware, content, and networking more closely together than ever before to offer a uniquely Sony proposition. In true Sony fashion, the tablet is simple and beautiful to use and also to experience. The tablet piece sports a clamshell design and has dual 5.5 inch screens and a 1 gigahertz NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor. The tablet S has a 9.4 inch screen and is shaped like a wedge. And its slope design when placed on a flat surface delivers enhanced screen visibility, sitting at your desk reading emails or even preparing a, a Saturday evening dinner, reading a recipe and mixing ingredients with both your hands as your tablet sits perfectly on the kitchen counter. The Sony Tablet P has a dual 5.5 inch screen in a unique clamshell design. The two displays can be used separately to read email on one screen while using the other as a keyboard or together as a single large screen, making it ideal for web browsing. The tablets will integrate with other Sony products, so for example, consumers can use them as a remote control for their TV. They'll also be able to flick images from the tablet onto the TV screen or play music to wireless speakers. Like many of the tablets that will launch here at IFA, vendors are hoping to make a dent in Apple's sales of the iPad and take advantage of the growing market. While Apple may be responsible for making tablets the must-have gadget, Howard Stringer didn't miss a chance to take a jab at the company. It's not who makes it first that count, but who makes it better. The Wi-Fi only version of the Tablet S will begin shipping in Europe in September, the 3G version in November, along with the Tablet P. At IFA 2011 in Berlin, Nick Barber, IDG News Service.